Hello, Tom. After all this time, I finally got your brake booster fixed. Uh, the issue was inside this um, air filter assembly, and uh, they are not a serviceable item, or haven't been up until now. And uh, what we've been doing all this time is developing the parts to repair this uh, unit, and uh, we have achieved that. I say we. Uh, actually, um, my buddy Wally Wheeler has done the work and uh, designed everything and executed everything. And I'm just, uh, he's just using me as a test bed and to make sure they all work. Anyway, so now we got a brake booster. You see with your name on it and it works. So this is how the test goes. Uh, we've got the vacuum test. Obviously we got, we're pulling vacuum off the bottom of your booster here. And we've also got uh, this test port up at the top, which um, uh, tells us what's going on inside the booster. Both of these gauges are going to read the vacuum that is um, uh, generated by my vacuum pump. And uh, when the booster is activated, this gauge is called the constant vacuum and it's going to stay the same. And this gauge is the control, which means as the booster is activated, this gauge is going to go to zero. The more the booster is activated, the more this gets to zero. And when the booster is fully applied, that is at zero. Over on this side, we've got our hydraulic. These two gauges here are tied together. So this gauge goes up and reads maximum pressure, and this gauge follows and um, reads the final uh, input pressure, which is just a function of my master cylinder, which is uh, this handle right here. Output is what is coming out of the booster. And uh, this gauge is going to go up and, and maxes out, and then this gauge follows and reads our final output pressure. Now, on these boosters, uh, this is a two to one boost ratio, so whatever is registered at the input, we're going to see twice as much on the uh, output. Now, that's with vacuum. Without vacuum, uh, to test the, uh, the machine and to make sure the, the uh, gauges are calibrated, I'm simply going to uh, activate the booster without any vacuum. And you'll see the input and output should read the same. And there we go, we've got input and output reading the same. 350, 350, a little over 300 right there. This is your input right here. This goes into the booster from the master cylinder. Then this is uh, the vacuum is applied. Uh, the piston activates in here and uh, pushes out uh, the fluid here. And as you can tell, we've got a dramatic difference in size from, in terms of the vacuum uh, piston here versus this piston. So that's how you get your um, that much boost. Now we're going to try the same thing with vacuum. Boost full activation. We come over here and you can see our gauges. We've got 350, 350, and well over 700, 700 psi. Now, I'll show you what that looks like. When it's And while we're while we have boost, we take check our booster to make sure we have no leaks. Make sure we're not leaking from the bleed screws. You don't want it, you don't need to use this bleed screw when bleeding the uh, the booster. Just re use the top bleed screw. We'll also check around here for leaks or the seals, the slave cylinder, the face plate. Now we check, make sure we have no vacuum leaks, no hissing. And that was the issue we had prior to, to this part being fixed here. This Tom is a great booster. You will be very pleased with it. Because I know I am. Alright, thank you very much for your extreme patience in, on this project. Thank you very much.